looks like I'll add one more to your collection, huh? Kevin, you have got to stop doing hey, that. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Of course you are. Amanda, happy birthday. I was just thinking about you today, and I wanted to let you know. I have to get home. Oh, I know you got the big party, huh? Why do we have to do this to ourselves? Why can't you just leave me alone? They've been expecting me for over Amanda. an hour. I was planning on spending this year with you. Evan, please. But I know I can't. So I just want you to have a good one and a healthy one. to me, Mike. What? Who, Since I talked to you the other day, something else has happened. John, wait, would you just slow down for a second? Talk she slowly. lied to me. Don't you see? Charlene doesn't lie. She doesn't know how. But you just said she lied. You don't understand what I'm saying, do you? No, I don't. Mike, I believe that Charlene has two personalities. I think that they're fighting each other for control. Now just listen to me for a minute, Mike. One minute I'm with Charlene. She looks at me, I know exactly who she is and exactly what she's thinking. And in the next second, it's like a complete stranger standing there. Her eyes are vacant. She looks right through me. John, are you sure you're not just rationalizing her behavior because the truth might hurt too much, huh? What, are you, are you thinking about this affair business? That's not yeah. it, Mike. I know that's not it. How do you it. know that's not it? Look at sodium anatol. I found it at home. She faked her whole session with Dr. Benson. I know that she switched this with a saline solution. She just changed the labels, that's all. It's behavior that's completely unlike Charlene. Just like all the rest of the behavior that I've experienced with her lately, with the memory loss and the mood swings. Mike, I've been knocking myself out to figure this thing out, but I've nailed it. I know I have. I've done it. But, John, a split personality. Yes. Come on. Or something like that. Listen, last week when her sister Emma was here, she was watching Charlene like a hawk. Why? She'd seen the behavior before. John, you think Charlene's had this behavior before? Emma was vague. Yes. Yes, I think so. And I think that it started around the time that Charlene's husband was killed in Nam. I think that something happened to Charlene then, too. Have you talked to her old therapist about this? Uh, Dr. Benson, no, no, I, I haven't told her what I think. I mean, this is truth serum. Now, if Charlene knew that and had something that she wanted to hide... Exactly. Can I use your phone in the other room? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna call Dr. Benson and let her know what I'm thinking. Okay. Mike. Thanks. Thanks for being there and for listening. I had nobody else to talk to about this. I wouldn't want you to talk to anybody else. I'll always be here if you need me. Hi. Hi, John's just using Michael, the phone. Right? I have to talk to you about something. Donna, I, I've been thinking about last night, actually. I have too, but this is about something else. I have something very important to confess to you. Are you going out? No. Oh, just... You 
looked so nice, I thought maybe you were going out. Do you like it? Yeah. A lot. Well, it's good to know I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> I wasn't sure. After last night, you weren't sure. He did go home. I've always been attracted to you, Marty. That was not one of our problems. Do you want a drink? No. I can make a pot of tea. Right. Why did you ask me to come here? I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Yeah. Donnie used to tell me I think too much. <laughs> but there are just some things that I can't control. The way that I feel for you. Honey, I'm not Just let me uh, finish, okay? Okay. We were really in love, weren't we? And we had something great for a long time. A lot of time. Problems? We've had problems. Who hasn't? Honey, I... I don't think our problems were ordinary. But we never gave each other a chance to work them out. We just got angry and frustrated, and the next thing I knew, we were splitting up, and I was running away. We never gave each other a chance to just work out what we'd broken. Honey, you can't change the past. No. But you can try and make it work. I was asked to come early. I see. Oh. Nice dress. It's a good color for me, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, how pretty. That's Amanda's, isn't it? Mrs. Corey, Amanda told me that I could borrow this dress for tonight's party. Oh, that's nice of Amanda. Yeah, I thought so, too, especially since I don't have a thing in my wardrobe that I could wear. Well, I think you look darling in it. Thank you. Well, I should get upstairs. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. You ever get an image in your mind, and no matter what you do or what you think, you just can't get that image out of your head. It just keeps pushing itself to the front of your consciousness. You know what image I have? What? You and me in the gazebo in the moonlight. Not a bad image, don't you think? Hmm. Not at all. Oh, um, my family's all over this place. So what else is new? Yes, well, I would like to be discreet. Can you help me with that? Thank you. Rachel. Hmm. Your kids are going to find out about us. Right there. Yes, I know they will. Because I'll tell them. When? When I tell them. When you're sure of me, you mean. Mm -hmm. I suppose I can't expect any better than that. Some things take more time than others. Look, there is one thing that I should be clear about. What? If you're unsure of me because of my past, because of things I kept from you, fine. Look, I'm trying to take some chances here. How about you? That's it. I'm not going to listen to your accusations anymore. Well, somebody has to point out the obvious to you since you're being so damn blind and stubborn about it. You have just accused my husband of trying to kill me. How am I supposed to act? Hey, it's hard for me to believe, too. So why don't we just take a look at the facts? This may be hard for you to understand, Evan. But Sam is my husband. I know he would never hurt me or anyone else. And you're going to stand there and tell me that he's been dealing with a full deck since he found out about us. He may not be acting normally, but what man would? God, you just don't get it, do you? He's hurt and terribly angry. But what you are saying, he is the father of my child. I'm not going to listen to these accusations. All right, what about the car? What about your brake line? I don't know. Or oh, you didn't have them checked out like you said you were? I'm not going to discuss it. Oh, you're just going just, to just deny this like everything else? Sam got rid of that car and bought me a new one, all right? Really? Yes, it was a surprise for my birthday. That's a convenient way to get rid of the evidence. All right, who am I supposed to trust? 
Me, the good guy. You. You lied to me for months. You stole money from my family's company to get back at me. I am supposed to trust you? That was for love, Amanda. If you love me, you will let me go. Do you understand that every time we're together, it hurts me? Why can't you just let me fix my life the way I want it fixed? What are you so afraid of? If it's not Sam, tell me, what is it? It's you. I'm afraid of you. All right, then, just be careful and don't ignore the signs. Then just go. But I'm going to tell you something before I go. Sam is dangerous. He's going to make his move real soon. You better be ready to deal with it. And I don't take chances. Well, yeah. Well, what do you call going halfway across the desert with you? That wasn't chancy enough. Not to mention the scorpions, the lad sides, the poachers, and the dreaded pack rats. I'm talking about emotional risks, Rachel, and you know it. I know. I do take risks. If I didn't, I would have armed guards to keep you out of here. Oh, there's my birthday girl. Here I am. You should have taken the day off. Yes, it's a national holiday. I checked. Well, I'm glad to be out of work anyway. Where's Sam? Uh, he's on his way. Oh, Helen, she's doing the Outer Mongolian chicken wings that you told her about. Maybe we better go check. Right. I'm on my way. Okay. Well, you really cleaned up at the office, didn't you? Yeah, this one's from. It's from Evan. He gave it to me on my way out. I wish he would just leave me alone. Obviously, he's not doing that. Mom, I put him out of my life. Have you really? Yes. All right. You look tired. Why don't you go upstairs and rest before the party? I'm really embarrassing. Is that why you were sitting in your car alone? Yeah, well, I, I hate being early. In fact, I hate it so much I'm never early. But today? Today I had to get out of the office. Uh, have you talked to Derek? No, not yet. He got home late last night, so... Are you going to talk to him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, eventually I will. I just don't know what I'm going to say. You think you're going to break up with him? I don't... I don't think we can work it out. I'm sorry, Stacy. Yeah, so am I. I really thought... I really thought we were gonna make it, you know? I know the feeling. I, uh... I don't know what to do next. What do you mean? Well, if I talk to him, I'm sure I'm gonna say something stupid. Then the whole thing is going to be over with. We won't even end up being friends. It can happen. So how are you and Vicky getting along any better? In the sense that it takes a lot more on her part to get to me. I really thought we were going to make it. I just thought we were going to meet. Can you excuse me for a few minutes? I... Well, sure. If you want me to... No, I, I don't. I don't need anything. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks. Tell me, is this about Jake? Jake? Yes. Why should this be about Jake? Oh, just a feeling. That's this all. This is about I Mikey. Well, you just got done talking to Cass. Yes. Well, what happened? I mean, did the Millers change their mind? What? No. What? what? No. Let me explain. Tell me. I don't trust the Millers. I thought that I was wrong for a while, but I didn't by their story. Somehow it didn't ring true, and I've been up every night worrying about it. Right. Now, they claim <clears throat> that they left Mikey with the babysitter, the negligent babysitter, and they blamed his disappearance on her. Right. I didn't, I didn't buy that story. So? So I had Cass hire a private detective. Donna, we agreed that we would talk about anything before we did it, didn't Michael? we? The last thing you came up with by yourself, honey, was bribery. I didn't want an argument from you, so I did it. <sighs> we were going to be honest with each other. Well, maybe some of your secret agent leanings rubbed off on me. Oh, come me. on. This is not funny. Be serious. It is serious. It certainly is. Well, then why, why 
Why didn't you Why did you do that? Do you want to know what I have to say to you? <sighs> oh. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me. I want to know. There was no babysitter. They left the baby at home alone the day that he disappeared. They left that baby alone, they lost him, and now they're back full of lies trying to claim it for themselves. I'm not going to surrender my son to people who are not able or willing to take care of him. I'm not going to let that Mike, happen, Michael. I gotta go. John, what happened? Listen, I, I'll call you later. I'm sorry. I've got to see Charlene. Okay. Is something wrong with Charlene? I'm afraid something is terribly wrong with Charlene. And, and then just slipped out of my hands, and, and now... Well, you, you didn't cut yourself. You okay? No. No, I'm not okay. Evan, I forget things. I'm never sure what's happened. Uh, where, where's John? He's smart. He's left town. Charlie, you're not making any sense. I'm not making any sense. I'm not making any sense again. Uh, have you tried to tell John what you're feeling inside? It doesn't go away, Evan. They said it would go away. It would just go away, and it never does. Why don't it's I... always there. Why don't I try and give him a call at the hospital? Do you know what it's like when no one can hear you? Do you know what it's like to feel like you don't even exist? Charlene. It's a, a lot of blackness, Evan. It's like I'm surrounded by blackness, and it's choking me to death. It's choking me to death. A little bit, a little bit more each day. And I used to be able to put it away longer. Don't you want me to help you in there? I got it. You look like you're going to drop one. I though. got it, Ken. Thank you. If you don't want those on your head, you better stop. Why is every woman in this family hell-bent on making me crazy? <laughs> it's heredity, I guess. Right. Oh, sweetie, there's a birthday girl. Don't you look lovely? Ah, oh, there she is, the Bell of Fall. Oh. This is my first birthday without Daddy. I've been thinking about him all day. Yeah. Oh, Paulina. Mrs. Corey, I can't tell you what it means to me to be a part of all this. Oh, I just hate to ask you this. But... Oh, I've already checked on Stephen and Alan. They're fine. No, 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 I know that. Um. I have a problem, and you're the only one who can help me with this. Oh, anything. I need you to serve the party. I'm sorry? Hilda's sick. I had to send her to bed. You want me to... I'm sorry the... about this. I don't know who else to ask. You're the only one. Of course, anything. anything oh, can help. thank you. This is a wonderful help. You're a real lifesaver. Go to Helen, and she'll get you started, okay? Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amanda. Happy birthday to you. Cheers. Charlene. Are you okay? Yeah, honey. I'll be I'll be right down. Just give me a second to fix my face up a little. All right.
Happy birthday, man. You think I'm losing my mind, don't you? Oh, not really. I've, I've had some pretty rough days lately. Yeah, I bet you came by here for a sympathetic ear, and then I fall apart. Get out of here. You pulled yourself together pretty fast. Well, you know us frames. We're good at going on. We learned that early on, didn't we? That's for sure. <laughs> so how are you? Well, I've, I've screwed some things up lately. At work? Work. Amanda. Vicky. Look, Evan. I know what it's like to feel like you've lost everything. I have no intention of ever losing. Hi, John. How you doing? All right, Evan. How are you? Good. Well, I, I, I guess I should be going. Yeah, I'm running late, so... Listen, if you need to talk, you come by and talk to me. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Too. Why are you at work? We need to talk. What's wrong? Lots of things, but we're going to get to the bottom of them right now. Won't, won't they miss you? Charlene, I know what you've done. What I've done? And neither one of us are going to leave this room until we've talked. What are you talking about? You never took the sodium amytol, did you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You and Dr. Benson. You switched said that... the vials. Now I want you to tell me why. Well? You know I care about it. And I know you want me, Jake. I only know that from last night. I've tried this before. Third time's a charm? <laughs> this is the third time. Jake. I want to try again. What makes you think this time will be any different than any of the other times? Because I know what the problem was last time. Jake, I just couldn't handle that I couldn't have children. That wasn't anything. But maybe the other things wouldn't have happened if I hadn't made you feel guilty or if I didn't run away. Jake, 
Maybe if I had let you in, or just let you love me the way that you wanted to love me, maybe you wouldn't have had to turn to another woman. It's been really hard for me to come to terms with this. Uh, I used to focus on what we didn't have rather than what we did have. And I understand that now, and I want to try again. Do you know how many times I've dreamed of hearing you say that? Oh, Jake. Yeah. Now, we need time to get away from all the craziness in the family and Donna, especially Donna, you know how she can be. What do you mean? She's afraid you're gonna hurt me again, Jake. Please don't let what she feels get in the way of us. Come on. Yeah. I know where we can go. Europe. We can go to Europe. It's a... It's a magical place where we can get to know each other again. Jake, you cannot say no to this. Or can you? I can't understand how the Millers could leave Mikey alone like that. I can certainly understand why they'd lie about it. It's a good thing I hired a private detective. What if we'd never found out and Mikey ended up with those awful people Donna, again? just calm down, okay? Oh, I gotta sit down. Look, could I get you a drink or something? No, thank you. I'm all right. I just haven't been sleeping at all lately, and it catches up with me sometimes. Well, I know how you feel. I haven't been sleeping too well myself lately. Of course, I never did sleep well alone. Uh. Donna, I need you to lean on me more. I can't, Michael. I felt so close to you last night. Close to me, or did you feel that you were in control of me again? Donna, come on. Michael, I cannot return to the woman that you seem to want me to be. Who do I seem to want you I to be? I can't depend on you, or anyone for that matter, ever again. I can't start over from scratch a third time. I've worked so hard to get where I am, and I'm not willing to let go of any of that. I don't want you to let go of that. But we need to be here for each other. I need that kind of dependence, Donna. Look, if you're tired and you want to stay here, I'll go to Amanda's party alone, all right? Thank you. Donna, I want you to be whoever you're finding out you are. But if this is a matter of pride, if you are putting your pride before your heart, you'll lose. I cannot leave the company without notice. What's the point of owning your own company if you can't take a vacation? <laughs> Visions is not ready to run itself. Jake, we're smothered here. By my parents, by Vicky, by everyone. Please, Jake, we need some time alone. To accomplish what? I already told you that. Why won't you do this for me? I have disappointed you again, haven't I? No. Yes, I have. And you know something, Marley? I'll do it again, and you'll leave again. No, I won't. I keep trying to tell you You're that I won't. You're about a year too late. When you left, when you left, I almost went under. Don't you understand? My wife left me. I was bartending. My entire family left me. I started over. I, start, I made it all by myself. I know that. And don't you try to make me feel like the heavy because you spent the last nine months traveling around Europe and you decided leaving me was a mistake. Because you know something, Marley? 
I told you that from the very start. Do you love me, Jay? It doesn't matter. I think it does. What matters, Marley? What matters is I... I can't do this again because I'll tell you, I don't know if I'd make it. There's another woman, isn't there? Is there another woman that you're not telling me about, Jake? Please be honest with me. Why won't you let me in this time all the way? I can't. Jake? Uh -huh. Rachel, I just have to say, I'm I'm very grateful that Jamie would just drop everything and check on Donna for me. Well, we know what your family's going through, Michael. I have to say that I'm very glad that I'm here just because of what our family's been through. Well, we're glad to have you here. Would yeah. you like something to do? Thank you. You've got to be patient, Paulina. Everything will come in good time. Given me a dream, but you won't let me make that dream come true. I'm sorry, it feels that way. Excuse me, Paulina, we need some ice. Do you mind, honey? Thank sure. you very much. Excuse me. Hi, Grandma. Oh, sweetheart, hi. Listen, Matt called. He and Josie are on the way over. Oh, well, that's nice. Amanda, happy birthday. Oh, oh, thank you. I've got some good news for you. What? Uh, Cass and I were working all morning on the papers. Uh, the ones that give Sam power of attorney. Yeah. They were notarized this afternoon. That's great. Yeah, so you're set for life. Sam is smart to think about the future. What the hell are you trying to do to me? Does it ever occur to you to walk into a room and say hello like a civil human being? I'll give you civil, Donna. Where do you get off trying to get rid of me? What are you talking you about? You told Marley I'm not good enough for her. That's about as subtle as a sledgehammer. Don't be so upset. She never listens to me. Why that. would you do that, Donna? You obviously don't want me in your life. You've made that perfectly clear, haven't you? Would you please stop screaming? Do you have any idea what it's like to be in a room with her? She wants me back. She even thinks there's another woman. You did it. Oh, yeah, I said, Marley, there is another woman. It's your mom. Jake, we can never tell her about that. When do we have to stop pretending this didn't happen, Donna, huh? We have to protect her, damn it! We have to protect her feelings. She must never find out. It would kill her. Hello, this is Marley Love. I called you earlier about standby seats that were available tonight on a flight. Right. Connecting to Nice. Were you able to do that for me? Please, this is urgent. I need to get on that flight tonight. I don't know what you mean. You switched the sodium amytal with the saline solution and faked your way through the whole session with Dr. Benson. I never did that. I swear to you. Charlene, I found the sodium mannitol. It was in a sugar canister in the kitchen right where you hid it. But John, I never... What's happening? This is 
the first time you've seen this, isn't it? You don't know anything about sodium amyloton, do you? Please say you believe me. I do. I believe you. to talk to me, Charlene. Don't shut me out. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be in the middle of doing something like, like coxing or just brushing my hair and then the last, the next thing I remember, John, it's like hours have gone by or even, even days have gone by in between. And I don't know where they've gone. And I don't know what I did. And it scares me. So you keep telling yourself that it, that it didn't happen, do you? Huh? It's just the most horrifying feeling not to have control. And then when, when I wake up, that's what, that's what it's like. It's like waking up when I wake up. I feel like things have happened that shouldn't happen. And I can't stop them. Oh, John, please help me. Don't let me feel that way again. No. You just hold on to me, baby. Hold on to me tight. Oh. What are you doing? You're gonna be suspicious. I don't care. You'd better care. I can't do this anymore, Ken. Look, look, I know this is hard for you, but it's also important for you that this goes right. Now, can't you hang in there a little longer? I was supposed to be a guest at this party. Did anybody mistreat you? No. Not. They're nice people. I just wonder how nice they're going to be when they find out. Well, they will be if you do this my way. Yeah, you think so? Maybe this is stupid. Do you ever think about that? Maybe this whole thing is just really stupid. Well, we don't have to go through with it. This family, they have so much. And I'm not just talking about things. I know. You really think it can work, Ken? That's up to you. No. I want this over with. I want to tell them. And then we can all just deal with it. Not yet. Why not? What difference does it make when? A lot if you want this to work out right. Hey! I can't stand this tension. What are you thinking about? You know what I'm thinking about. In time. No. Now. You can't do that. Why not? So you don't lose favor with the lady of the house. And you better hope I stay in her favor. I'm telling them. Paulina! <laughs> I'd like to give a toast to everybody. Oh, good. I'd like to propose a toast to my beautiful daughter. May this next year bring you more love and good fortune and joy than you've ever known in your life. Happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday. Honey? Don't worry, she'll be all right. She's thinking about Mac. I better go talk to her. That's what moms are for. I'll get the party going. Okay. Is it your dad? He's on all of our minds today. I'm so scared, Mom. Of what? Sam. Sam? Why, sweetie? He's never going to forgive me, Mom. Oh, darling, that's not why he's not here. He said he was going to be here. He loves you, I know he does. This is an act. He's lying to all of us. What are you talking about? 
He wants to hurt me as much as I hurt him. I'm afraid to be alone with him. Evan was right. You'll have great peace of mind having done this. Well, I'd better. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Fowler. Just call me Sam. Now that we know what this is, we can fix it. I don't want to hear you say that you're going to be all alone. You're not. I'm going to be with you always. Oh, no it's matter... okay. Oh, oh, sweetie, I feel so much better just, just getting it out of my system like that. But I am so parched. Uh, I'm going to go get a glass of water, I think. Charlie? Soap fans, it's Friday and you're dying to know what's going to happen next week on your favorite soap. Find out when you call NBC Soap Phone right now. Dial 1-900-650-4NBC. Each call costs $1 for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. 